Hello everyone. Today I'm making sausage with mashed potato. But before I continue, I just want to share something with you. Please go support my friends in North Carolina, their YouTube channel. The one channel's name is Lady T Sensations. Please go subscribe and show her your support. And the same for another channel, which is Come On In. That's another cooking channel. And those two channels are actually related. It's a mother and daughter. And they are of my favorite YouTube um, YouTubers. And I watch them every day. I can't get enough. So please go support. They've also shouted me out on a video. So I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, now the next thing is, uh, one second guys, people have inquired, did you know that our cookbook is also in Afrikaans called Carp, Kitty and Cusistus and you can get this in all your leading bookstores, online, take a lot, loot SA and also from my website. So there we go, the Afrikaans version, Carp, Kitty and Cusistus. Please go buy it and gift it to someone, gift it to yourself. If you love Afrikaans, here's your book. Okay, now let's start with a meal. <laughs> so here I have um, one kilogram and a third of potatoes that I've cut up. And I put it in cold water in the pot with a three-quarter teaspoon of salt and I just boiled it until soft and you can test it by just putting a knife through and it will break apart. Then I've just lightly just uh, gotten rid of the water and now I've got two cups of uh, warm milk, a hundred grams of pure butter and I've got a little nutmeg that I'm going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to add the raw milk and the butter. I'm going to keep some for when I'm done. Now I'm not going to, I'm going to use a whisk. You can use a <laughs> what's the word guys? I can't get to the word now. <laughs> a masher. Okay, and don't worry, I'm not scraping the pot. I'm just going to keep it like this. And now I'm just going to stir with a whisk until it's nice and smooth. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. The mashed potatoes are done. Nice and creamy. Now here's a few tips. Oh, and sorry, it was uh, one and a half kilograms of potatoes, not one and a third. My apologies. So... If you want your mash to be a bit thicker, just add less milk. Please make it to your taste, okay? And of course, there's so many different um, recipes for mash and flavors that you can add. Okay. Take the whisk out. Add a few nubs of butter. And uh, just a little nutmeg okay so the mash is done here we go and now I'm going to do the sausage with the onions and we'll be right back oh yes um, let me add that I've also made some carrots that I've just peeled and uh, sliced on the bias and I've just uh, cooked it and uh, when it was um, uh, but tender, I added a little uh, sugar and a little butter. And that was left over carrot side in the fridge. So that will be a side. <laughs> okay guys, now we're going to make the sausage. But before we start, let me just show you. I made some salt and pepper chicken. Uh, this is my favorite way to eat chicken. <laughs> just salt and pepper and a little olive oil. And that was in the oven for about an hour and I've taken it out. That will be just uh, on the side as well. Okay. So my mash is ready. 
my carrot is done my salt and pepper chicken is done so now I'm going to start with the sausage add some oil okay now this is two um, large onions just sliced and two chilies okay And this is half a kilogram of uh, dania sausage, which is also called coriander or cilantro, depending where you are in the world. And because it's only 500 grams of sausage, so I made some chicken. <laughs> now, of course, you can add here all the flavorings you like. You can have it with... The onions with balsamic vinegar, you can add uh, peppers, you can add vinegar and sugar, you can add tomato. But I'm just going to do a simple onion fry with just salt and pepper. And uh, just keep it simple. It's a salt and pepper um, story going on today. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to fry this a little bit and we'll be right back. Okay, now I'm just going to push the onions to the side. This is going to cook, I mean fry, sorry guys, until it gets a nice color. Now the onions you can fry as long or as little as you like. If you like it dark, caramelized, just go a bit longer. If you like a crunch to it with not that much color, just fry it with a shorter time. Okay, do you do you. Very important. Oh, that fly is the Then the frikadel. Okay, move it out. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put the sausage in. And now just on a medium heat, not a high heat, we're going to let this just fry away. Okay, you can use any sausage you like. You can even make a gravy with it and pour it over. But like I said, I'm just keeping it simple. Now I'm going to add the black pepper. Ooh. <laughs> I told you guys I'm really clumsy. Yo! Let me change it a bit. Here we go. How's that guy? Better? Okay. And now I'm just going to let this fry. Keep the heat a bit lower. I don't want the sizzle to be too hard. I got this tip many years ago from um, a friend of mine that sells a Urubos roll. Take your time here, okay? Take your time. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, now I'm gonna add my last, last ingredient and that's just about two teaspoons of dark soy sauce. There we go. And it's just gonna give everything a nice flavor and color. Salt, pepper, and just a touch of dark soy and there you have it look at that yummy in my tummy <laughs> okay now next we're going to dish up okay guys food is done switch off the heat here's the mash the carrots Okay, I'm going to dish up. Mm. 
I don't know if with cats. Okay. I don't know if the mesh. Ooh. Look at that. And then. Piece of chicken, salt and pepper chicken, and the sausage. And just a tiny bit of sprinkling of Tabasco, <laughs> my favorite. And there you have it guys, sausage and mash, it's that easy, it's absolutely delicious, one of my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and please go to my YouTube channel, Fatima Sado Cooks, and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone. <laughs>